welcome back students today it is the ninth lecture on node.js in our last lecture we have seen mongodb as a database as well as we have seen mongodb as a client connector which helps your front end application to connect to the database we have seen the crud operations in that uh, mongodb client connector as i told you in last lecture that uh, there are two ways to connect to you to the database first was the mongodb client connector the second is the mongoose way out so today we will see how we can connect our database with mongoose mongoose is a, another model which helps us to connect to the database after that we will also see if we have relational db just like mysql can we connect it to our uh, node application we will see it also so these are the two parts which we will cover in our today's lecture let's start with mongoose keep in mind mongodb is the database so that is a separate thing you have to install that thing uh, mongodb as we have download uh, downloaded that from mongodb.com and installed the uh, enterprise or community edition that is a database and mongoose is a module of node so mongoose is if you are installing mongoose it does not mean your db will be running automatically you have to run your db separately that db is mongodb which will run as a server and mongoose is your node module you will install it and it will help you to connect to that database you have to install both mongoose is an object document mapper odm it actually maps your object to the document in your db as we know document is actually a record set so the object which we have in our application is mapped with the document uh, available in the db and we can uh, communicate with mongoose and mongoose will communicate with the mongodb so alternatively we will uh, write into the mongoose model and that model will write in the document actual document in the mongodb so we will not be interacting with the mongodb directly but indirectly we are uh, we are using this means that mongoose allows you to define objects with a strongly typed schema as we know mongodb was not a type uh, a strongly typed schema database it was a dynamic it contains a dynamic schema pattern but we are using mongoose to make it strongly typed schema that is mapped to the mongodb document so first of all what we have to do we have to install it to install it as uh, we do it uh, in earlier uh, modules we download it using npm node package manager npm install mongoose and normally normally we have to install it globally so that we can access this mongoose over our uh, system anywhere uh, so that is why we need to install it npm install mongoose minus g but there is a chance that there uh, is some error installing it globally uh, if there is a case then you should you can install it locally also better to do it with the minus g option it is a better way out but if your laptop is not allowing you to install it uh, globally due to some restriction or c drive write permissions so uh, in other case if this is the case then you can install it locally uh, without managing now we have installed our mongoose module module we have already installed mongodb database which is running at the backend now what we will do in the mongoose what are the steps the first we are creating the db connection the first thing is the connection database connection that is also uh, we have done it our mongodb client connector first thing is to connect to the database but onward there is some other pattern after creating the database we have to declare 
the schema of our uh, basically collection schema of a model which will be mapped to uh, the collection in the data so we will define our schema as a uh, mongoose is strongly type schema language schema based uh, module then after defining the schema we will define mod model mongoose model this model is based on this schema it will follow the rules of this schema we will assign the model with the schema and the collection in the database after doing this after connecting to the to the db after creating the schema after creating the model we can insert update delete to this model and this model will map its value to the database directly so alternatively we will perform all the thread operations and those called operations will be uh, performed on the model and model will insert those values using this schema into the database we are not defining any constraint at database level keep in mind mongoose is a module which is at application level we are not restricting our database with any sort of constraints then we will see the closing of db all we, we will follow this step to learn mongoose the first step is to connect with the uh, database basic connectivity mongoose dot connect you will uh, require mongoose into your application after requiring the mongoose you will call the mongoose dot connect and after calling mongoose dot connect you will provide the connectivity now you know the con connect, uh, connectivity string it contains the mongodb name the server name the port and the database name and if your database has a username password in mongodb then you can pass this username and password along with your host name and port number so this is the pattern if your uh, database contains the username and password to login then you will pass this username and login in this url and along with host name and port number and lastly it is the database name first parameter is compulsory and it is database connection as above the connect function accepts two other optional parameters the second parameter is an object of options where you can define things like the username and password if you don't define this username or password here you can pass it as an option as a second uh, parameter as a uh, our uh, optional parameter the third parameter which can also be the second parameter if you wish the second parameter if you have no option is the callback function callback function will return us uh, the status either we have connected to the database or not so the first thing is the url second thing is actually the options and third thing is the callback so like this is an example we are requiring the mongoose and uh, assigning to a variable this is basically a representative of this class mongoose class and we are calling a function mongoose.connect after calling mongoose.connect we are passing the connectivity string we can put it in some variable and pass the variable also or we can put it directly the string can be put in directly so we are defining that there is a mydb database there is a port 27017 local host is your db server address and as a second parameter we are not passing any optional parameter and as a second parameter we are passing our callback function in this callback function if there is an error we will throw an error else in case uh, successfully connected it will be detected in our console if an error occur when connecting to the database exception is thrown and all further processing is stopped so if there is any error in the callback automatically the further processing will be stopped when no error occurs i have, i have logged a success message to the console so alternatively if there is no error then this uh, successful message will be printed into your console this was the first step that was the connecting to the database now we will discuss the second step that is the schema of mongodb we can define the schema everything in mongoose starts with a schema each schema maps to a mongodb collection and defines the shape of the document within that collection so it is just 
applied uh, the structure of your section. As we cannot define the structure in MongoDB directly, as MongoDB does not allow structuring, so we can define the schema. Uh, MongoDB is schema-free uh, database, so we can define that schema in our uh, Mongoose. So the structure will be defined. If you want to add additional keys later, use the schema add method. So you can add later on. But how schema works? First of all, we will take an object of mongoose.schema type schema. We can directly write here new uh, mongoose.schema, or we can take an, an object of this type and write this new schema. We are creating a new schema with the name blocks schema. And in the in it, we are passing an object. You can see it is a function new schema and we are passing an object an object with the property title the the field type will be string author the field type will be string body will be uh, the type will be string comments that will be array of object and object contains body and date and then you have date the comment is an array and after that date and date is of type date and default is did not know. You can see it is an object, uh, array of object, but it is not array of object. It is the definition of this date type. You are defining that this date will be of type date, and you can also define the default value for that. If you uh, the user will not provide the date, uh, it will take the date system date at that moment. The hidden is a boolean variable. Meta is another variable which will be uh, an object object of words and favorites both are of number type so you have defined a blog schema a blog which contains a title author body comments date hidden meta uh, this information in, in one schema so after again this schema there will be a collection which stores these information into it schema and schema type there can be string then can mean number uh, everything is a key value pair you know uh, it is uh, of uh, just like a json object so everything is a key value pair the types it supports are the string number date buffer mixed mixed means everything you can store anything into it it can be um, uh, you can store number mixture of number strings date etc everything can be stored into mixed and object id is actually a hash reference is uh, under ID field of document as we have seen it is a hashed value of uh, the document which is uh, defined by the mongodb itself so you can pass on the object uh, type object id there can be an uh, type array and there can be a type of boolean so all these are different types what are the specification of schema each data type allows you to specify default value in that schema you can define the default value as we have seen in this case we can have defined the default value uh, we can define the default value a custom validation function if we want to validate the input we can define that uh, custom validation input uh, uh, function indicate a field is required or not we can define it also uh, in this case like uh, if we want to uh, it will be you can mark this as required one same a get function as set function you can define the get and set function you can create it uh, as an index or create indexes to allow data to be fetched faster you can define the uh, indexes here like defining the indexes if i have created a schema animal schema and this schema has uh, one is the name and second is the type name is also a field Type is also a field, and then that tag has a type array of string and index true. That means tag will be tag will be used as a field index or secondary index, and we can define this uh, index in uh, this fashion also. So one way while declaring the schema, in that schema you can declare it index colon true. Any field you can define it as a index colon true. And if you have not defined within this schema, you can add again 
animal schema but index and name the field on which you want to define the index simply on the basis of name so you have seen two indexes in this table there are three fields name type or tags and tag is uh, is an index and name is an index this is a field level index this is a schema level index there is another example of schema you have seen you can see we have created a schema child schema and this schema contains only one field that is name of type string no we have created another schema with the name schema this was of the child and this is of the name schema new schema and what we are doing we are passing the name as a string age as a number and children as a array of this schema we are passing complete schema here so alternatively this uh, uh, schema is a part of this array so actually we are creating an array of objects and each object contains a child schema this is the part of module i will explain it little later and you can also define the new schema with a name thing underscore id false it means it has a special meaning it means this schema will not contain underscore id you are dropping that field which is a default field in case of mongodb but you are saying that underscore id i don't need underscore id so whenever your collection will be created this underscore id field will be dropped auto index false that means we don't need any auto index there underscore id we don't need there. So we can drop it. Underscore ID pass will allow you to eliminate underscore ID field with with each document. So now you can define your own IDs as you want. You can use that underscore ID field, which is by default, or you can drop it also. Another example of schema: user schema of type mongoose schema name name contains name is of type object which contains two property first name of string and last name of string so the first uh, um, the first property of uh, user schema is name which is of type uh, uh, object and uh, it contains first name and string then the second field is created which will be of type date we are taking another schema that is author schema mongoose dot schema underscore id it is of type by default uh, underscore id is of type mongoose dot schema dot types dot object id every underscore id is of type object id if we declare it okay if we don't declare it it will be automatically there just to tell you that the type of underscore id is always object id the second property is name which contains which is an uh, object of first name and last name then we have biography twitter facebook linkedin profile picture of type buffer we can save the pictures in shape of buffer in the database we can also save pictures on the hard disk and save the link in this case you can save the picture in buffer format then created is another field which will be of type date and the default value will be data now so we have created two we have seen two examples one is of user schema and second is of author schema you have seen two examples there is one more example and after that we will uh, move towards uh, model but before that we should know different type of uh, um, schemas in this case you can see we are creating a team schema this team schema contains the field only the name name is of type string and recoil true so by default uh, this schema should contain the name and after that we are creating another schema the employee we will cross reference this with this new schema name uh, name will be of type uh, name, name will be of type object and of the first object of uh, this uh, the first property of this object is the first which will be of type, type string and required true and last type string required true so the name contains two fields first and last and both of type string and 
दो बोथ आर रिक्वायर्ड देन वी आर टेकिंग अनदर प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ दिस इंक्वायरी स्कीमा दैट इज टीम द द टीम दैट आर एन एम्प्लॉई रिप्रेजेंट सो व्हिच विल बी ऑफ टाइप स्कीमा डॉट टाइप्स डॉट ऑब्जेक्ट आईडी सो वी आर रेफरेंसिंग हियर दिस इज द रेफ ऑफ टीम मॉडल सो ये दिस इज योर टीम स्कीमा we will see here the model and we will refer with the model not the schema so in this case uh, we are referring to uh, model which will the image which will be of type string that means now we are not storing this image into the database we are storing only the path into the database if we are saving it as a buffer that means we are storing the image into our database so if the type is of string and default value if And the user will not provide uh, provide the image. This user dot png will be loaded against this address. Is an object of type of which contains a few lines, and this line is of type array of string. And postal is of type string. So you have seen a cross reference. A team schema has a reference with uh, your employee schema. This employee schema is referring to this team schema. that uh, that name or uh, the instead of name of the team we are passing the under id field to teams so alternatively uh, we are cross matching this uh, team the same explanation is given here um, and this is what i have explained you you can go through it uh, the team schema is defined to store only the name of the team every employee document is going to have uh, a name object with the first name and last name Uh, last thing, uh, lastly, both of these those values are required and must be string. Uh, the team key is how we can create a reference to another document. We have uh, that one. Uh, that thing I have explained to you. It how you can provide cross reference with underscore ID object object ID which is uh, underscore ID field. And uh, MongoDB unique identifier. And I have explained you all this. Image key indicates that the value will be stored in the string. And if the value is absent, this value will be replaced as value. So address consists of an array of string. Looking at the complete schema, you will notice that it reads very easily. It is quite clear at a glance how our document are going to be structured in the database. So schema is providing us the structure of our document. Let's stop here. We will come with the second part in which we will discuss the model. Thank you.